Hello everybody, here is again another exercise case on international cases with value added tax. Uh, now it's Mr. Ludwig from Ludwigsburg in Germany. He has a bookshop where many orders from customers throughout the world are received. Well, that's not so realistic, however, <laughs> that's just our case. And he asks you for the correct treatment of the following events. First, a customer from France ordered books for 2000. A customer from Spain ordered books for 200 euro. The bookshop is, by the way, very popular in Spain. During the last year, private customers from Spain ordered books for 11,000 euro. Mm. A customer came in person to the bookshop in Ludwigsburg and bought books on the spot there for 2000 euro, which he carried home then in his car to France. Another customer was from Belgium, came to the shop in Ludwigsburg, bought books there for 1000 euro and said he was an entrepreneur and bought for his enterprise, left behind the Belgian VAT identification number. However, when the number later was checked by Ludwig, it came out that the number does not fit to the name and address given, to the, given by the customer. And last but not least, a customer from Heligoland ordered books for 214 euro and got them sent to Heligoland by mail. Well, um, let's look for an answer. What happens here? First transaction, a customer from France, a private one, ordered books and gets them sent by mail. So we send something to a French customer. The books go from Germany to France, so they cross an internal border of the EU. They are sent by mail, and that is clearly an EU internal case. The customer, is it an entrepreneur? And the answer is no. So we have to go on to step two and ask if it's a question of paragraph 3C of distance selling. And the answer is distance selling requires two conditions. First, the seller sends the good to the other state and not the customer carries them home. That's fulfilled here. And that happens in a greater extent because there is a threshold um, below which the rule does not apply if you don't want to. This threshold is, however, surpassed if you have made um, revenue in the last year or in the current year of more than 10,000 euro. And that's definitively the case because that happened uh, last year. More than 10,000 were delivered to one EU state, namely for Spain. So we know the threshold is exceeded. And so distance selling solution can apply. That means um, the solution will be plain and simple. Taxability has to be tested under one one number one. The delivery of a good, 3-1, yes. The place of delivery is under 3C. The arguments are the customer is not a taxpayer who pays acquisition tax, but a private one. The good is sent by the deliverer. The place of delivery is therefore under 3C1, where the delivery ends. So it's taxable in France and not in Germany. And all the rest happens according to French law, especially 2,000 euro or then a gross amount under French law. French VAT has to be split off and the rest is the net amount. Well, number two, we have again Ludwig and he sends things to a Spanish customer by mail. The goods go from Germany to Spain. We have basically the same situation. It's EU internal delivery. Customer is not an entrepreneur, so inter-community acquisition and intra-community delivery are out of um, are out. So we go to step two and test if the distance selling rules can apply. And uh, indeed, the threshold is surpassed, and the goods are sent there by the seller. So these rules apply. One one number one three one. It's a delivery three C. Where the transport ends is Spain. Um, that's taxable in Spain. The rest of the cases, according to Spanish law, presumably no exemption. Uh, 200 is gross amount under Spanish law, minus Spanish VAT, and all that. And um, input tax deduction for the purchase of the book can be granted. 
And last but not least, what I did not explicitly say here on the slide, but what is highly important, your tax declaration for the turnovers made under paragraph 3C. So for the books sent to Spain and for the books sent to, sent to France can be declared at home to the German fiscal office under the so-called one-stop shop system. And uh, then Germany will take your tax declaration with effect for all these countries, um, accept the tax and transfer it to the other countries so that the tax declaration for these things can be handed in, in your home state here, Germany. Again, another case. Somebody comes, says he is an entrepreneur. comes, takes the good home, uh, takes the books home. Now this is um, again a private customer. Then we don't have the distance selling rules because the seller doesn't organize the transport. So in that case it's treated as if it were an ordinary regular inland case without any expectation or inter-community delivery relief. So the solution is just it's taxable in Germany. There is no tax exemption. The net amount is the tax base, so 2000 minus the German VAT. That is 7% for books, so 13084. And the net amount remaining is 1869.16 euro. Taxpayer is, sorry, that must be a number one here on the slide. That's Ludwig. Uh, 31 number one, the tax arises at the end of the preliminary declaration period during which the delivery was made. The invoice has nothing special, declaration duties, nothing special, and input tax, nothing special. So, next idea, a customer from Belgium comes, says he is an entrepreneur, but can't prove it. Um, we see even uh, that the VAT identification number is wrong. That might be rather an indicator that um, this is a private person because um, if the buyer is not a complete idiot, using a wrong identification number is probably an indicator that the buyer is lying. So we treat that first as a sale to a private customer. Um, as that customer carries the good away, it's not the seller who sends it to the other country, so distance selling does not apply. Um, and so we treat it as regular inland case. We have a delivery, we have 3.6, we have taxable in the inland. Tax exemption under for inter-community delivery would be nice. Customer says, I am an entrepreneur, but we can't prove it. And there are even indicators that it's wrong because wrong VAT number has been used, so not exempt from tax. So it would probably be liable to tax. Tax base is on 1000 cross amount minus VAT. We end up with an net amount of 934.58. The tax rate for books is still in Germany 7%, so we end up with 65.42. The rest is as usual. And last but not least, there is a book sent to Heligoland, um, or better, no, taken, sold to a customer from Heligoland, and customer well, has them sent to Heligoland. Treatment as follows, taxability 11 number one, it's a delivery, place of delivery is Ludwigsburg, so it's taxable in Germany. And now the next point is the exemption. And well, is it an export? 6.1 number one says if the entrepreneur sends it by mail or transports a good to the third territory, it's always an exportation, so it's tax free if that can be proven. Well, we assume there are proofs enough, so um, the tax base is the net amount, that is here the paid amount, because if there is no tax, then there is cross amount equal to net, and net amount. So no tax, taxpayer, so who has to declare and give proofs, that's Ludwig. 
um, the arisal of the tax. So when the tax declaration for that transaction has to be handed in at the end of the month when the delivery was made. The invoice is as usual. You know that an invoice over a tax-free amount has to contain a hint um, that the transaction is tax-free. Declaration, nothing special. Input tax, nothing special. So that's it. So here you have seen what happens if people deliver goods to private customers in the rest of the world. Okay, and that was again a very short one. So we cover well, relax a bit and wait for the next exercise to come. Goodbye.